Hello, I'm Paris Sar Sanjani. Welcome to my channel. In this session, we're going to be learning a new pose called Bada Uttan Prishtasana, or in English, we call it Bound Lizard Pose. And if you're new here, please watch the videos that are categorized in the playlist on my channel. And I'll be very thankful if you subscribe. And also, if you want, you will get, make me very happy if you follow me on Telegram channel, Instagram, and TikTok as well. So in order to do bound lizard pose, as you can tell by its name, it's one of the uh, lizard poses, one of the variations of lizard pose, which means that we need to know how to do lizard pose first. And I've already taught lizard pose in the last sessions, you can check it out. And in this pose, we need to have a lot of stretching in the legs muscles and also besides stretching, we need a lot of strength because in order to hold this pose, we need to engage all the muscles of the legs so that we can do it properly. And in this pose, we don't need to do anything, like we don't need to do much with the upper body. It's mostly about the lower body. And also, if you couldn't do with the main pose, you can practice with the easy options so that you will not harm yourselves. So let's get started. I will start with my right leg, which means we need to bring the right leg front first. And we, we kind of, it's like a, a Anjaniyasana uh, or the crescent moon pose. This is the position that we get in first. And next, we need to put the hands down and then put the left toe down, back toe down, and lifting the knee up. This is the position that we need to come to first. The next step is, since it's called bound, so apparently we have to uh, interlock the fingers. So in order to do it, you need to take the right hand, right leg, right hand, same hand, same leg. Take it in, in the gap that is kind of like 90 degree, taking the hand in and after you take your hand inside the gap you have to rotate your palm your palm should be facing up to the ceiling so you rotate your shoulder and the elbow and palm facing up and after that you need to bend your elbow and put your hand on your back and after that put the weight on your legs lift the left hand up and interlock your fingers and you can either look forward or look down and after a few counts come back and in this pose what matters a lot is that keeping the knee in a one straight line with the ankle because there is a lot of pressure on both legs especially the front leg so if you uh, if your knee pass your ankle and your toe it can be very harmful as you keep doing this pose it can hurt your knee and your ankle so in order to avoid that you need to first make sure that your knee is in a one line with your ankle so that you will not harm your ankle and the knee because there is a lot of pressure on the front leg and also from the back leg, when you put your toe down, it's important to keep your heel in a one straight line with your toe. Heel not back like this and heel not too forward like this because when it's too forward, you can hurt your toes as well. So try to keep the knee, uh, try to keep the heel in a one straight line with your toes. And I will do this pose with the other side as well so that you can see how it looks like from um, the front side. So bringing the left leg forward and then lifting the right knee up and then left hand inside the gap, rotating the palm, palm facing up and then putting the hand on the back and after that putting the weight on the legs, engaging all the muscles of the legs and interlocking the fingers and either you can look forward or look down and then release the fingers and come back. Easy option for bound lizard pose is just the normal lizard pose. You can just put your back knee down and elbows down, interlock the fingers and you can either look forward like this with the uh, back knee down or you can lift your 
knee up. And when the knee is down, there is uh, more stretching uh, in this pose, especially in the legs. And when you lift your knee up, there is more strength in your legs, which means you have to use your power to do this pose. And if you cannot reach your elbows down, it's okay. Just keep your hands down and either knee down or knee up. And you can practice with these easy options. And whenever you're ready, you can come to Bound Lizard Pose. All right, so that's it for today's video. And as usual, I will end this practice with a beautiful quote by Bosho that says, sitting quietly, doing nothing, spring comes and the grass grows by itself. Thank you very much for your time and for being with me today. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment below. And also thanks a lot for your kind comments, for liking and sharing my videos and for subscribing to my channel. Weekly, I upload videos about the topics that are categorized in the playlist. I'll see you all in my next videos. Bye!